Well, when I look at uh, the normal internal combustion engine we're dealing with, <clears throat> probably valve train control really is the point that it hasn't been solved totally yet. Well, NHRA won't let me do it. I, di I did it in 1992 and they outlawed it immediately, so that kind of set us back. Is that in the book? Uh, probably not. What, how did you solve it? Built a pneumatic valve train. The pneumatic valve train. So we could run a conventional valve train at 94. Now you have to realize we didn't have hollow stem valves. Valve spring uh, development at that point in time was rather crude compared to uh, today's standards. Uh, so 9,400 RPM was about as fast as you could run them in 1992. And we ran, uh, and a valve spring, a steel valve spring lasted 30 seconds. Uh, titanium spring lasted maybe a minute. And the pneumatic valve train we ran at 13 to 14,000 RPM for, I think somewhere around two hours. 